Delaware Valley's leading news program with Jamie Apodi, meteorologist Cecily Tynan, Rick Williams, and Monica Malpass. Plus, dentists say they are dealing with a cavity crisis among young children. Coming up in Health Check, how you can take action and help protect your child's teeth. Well, young children are facing a cavity crisis, according to dentists, but a Bucks County dentist says it doesn't have to be that way. She explains what's behind the increase and how parents can reverse it. Health reporter and registered nurse Ali Gorman has the story. Dr. Cheryl Radin loves taking care of kids' teeth. Her office, Growing Smiles, looks colorful and fun. But there's nothing fun about the number of cavities she's seeing these days, especially among preschoolers. We're seeing them very, very young now. Are you ready? Come on. Come on in. Heather Casalia's daughter, Autumn, is one of them. At her first dental visit at age three, she had six cavities. She never had soda. She rarely had juice, no candy. So I was very surprised. Dr. Radin thinks there are several factors behind the cavity boom in preschoolers, such as gummy vitamins. Kids love them, but they stick to the teeth and leave a residue. Sugary cereals and certain foods are also a culprit. Carbohydrates such as breads, crackers, chips, um, pretzels, they all break down in the mouth to cause sugars. But sugar alone isn't always the problem. Another factor is the way way we eat, grazing throughout the day. The sugars are attacking the teeth all throughout the day. If you can't change your kids' snack habits, add in cheese. It neutralizes mouth bacteria. And try to drink tap water that has fluoride rather than bottled water. Bedtime bottles were likely a factor in Autumn's cavities. Adding to the problem could have been a late start on dental checkups. The first visit should be around age one. Oh yeah, cavities can start from the time the first tooth erupts. And when those first teeth appear, that's the time to start getting kids used to brushing using a baby toothbrush and water. You'll have to do it and they may not like it, but it could spare them problems in the future. Allie Gorman, Channel 6, Action News.